Yeah, so we're here in the paleontology hall with the Marchant block, which is a massive bone bed of associated uh, material from a number of different dinosaurs, a few other species. We've got things like crocodiles, turtles in here as well. Most of these bones are going to be coming from the Edmontosaur and Nectans, the duck-billed dinosaurs or hadrosaurs as the group is known. But the really exciting thing about this block is in amongst all of these bones are about eight different T-Rex teeth. So none of these we think are from a T-Rex that died in the same area, but instead these are shed teeth, most likely from T-Rex feeding on these animals either around the time they died or sometime thereafter. Now after T-Rex had fed on these, once the uh, animals had decomposed, a river came along and moved all of these bones until it redeposited them somewhere else and eventually they fossilized. Now, normally with bone beds like this, what you would do is you'd actually number each bone and remove them in sequence. In this case, however, they took the entire block of rock out of the quarry and prepped all of these bones still in place. So why would they do that? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so in this case, what it does is it actually preserves the association of these. It preserves them exactly as they were uh, in relation to each other when they were buried 66 million years ago. And why are you excited that this is here? I'm just super excited because this is uh, how we actually find bones in the field. When we get them here to the museum, they're all nicely cleaned up usually. They're articulated, so they're placed back in the position on the animal where it was when the animal was alive. But this is when we're out in the field, more of what we see. So it's a way of bringing the field to the for people to see? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's like bringing a little tiny piece of the excavation right here into the museum. What are these? Oh yeah, so this thing that looks almost like a little bit of an accordion is actually the lower jaw or the dentary to one of those hadrosaurs, one of those Edmontosaurinectins. There's a massive vertebra from one of them just here. Got things like, uh, I'm trying to find other interesting things to point out. It's part of the back foot of one of those Edmontosaurs just there. Would this be a part that's of the leg bone? Actually, the femur, so that's the upper back leg bone right there. You can see one of the T Rex teeth just over here on that far left portion as well. I've already got some buttery macro shots of fabulous. A uh, few of these T, -T Rex teeth. Where was this found? So it's found, uh, it was, was found near Lusk, Wyoming, in the Marchant Quarry, is what the block is actually named from. Actually, I can, let me point out another element just down here because I only just recognized what this was the other day. That is actually uh, sort of a cheekbone. It's part of the skull of one of those Edmontosaurs. So we've got part of the disarticulated skull right there. We would absolutely love it if you'd come see this new addition to our paleontology hall here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. <laughs>